We are 15, 16 seconds in today's video. Got to position my mic. Hope you guys can hear me. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. It's been a beautiful, beautiful Monday today. It was cool. But it was lovely, and I hope that you are warmly dressed, whomever you may be today and wherever you were. Hello, Precious, Jerry, Cynthia, Kayeye. Hello to you. Please jump on here, and let's have a little chat very quickly. Kabesha Boa, watching from Maryland. Wow, Maryland. Amazing. Maryland? How's Maryland today? Thank you so much. Hello, Mr. Mayor. Watching you from Pennsylvania, Rocky Land. Christine, I have a question for you. Christine from Pennsylvania. Have you ever run up the Rocky Steps over there in in Pennsylvania? You know, the movie Rocky? There's this famous scene where Rocky runs up the steps. Have you ever run up the steps? Somebody please tell me if you can hear me. Somebody says volume. Tell me in the comments below if you can hear this loud and clear. I can see you, and I'm on board, somebody said. That was wrong, loud. Given, Sikale says, hello, Mr. Mwewa, watching from Chicago. Violet Schneider. We have a Violet Schneider that's watching us. You know, I had a a college friend of mine. What was his name? Something Schneider. He was Schneider as well. Greetings, Uncle Margaret. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, let's get let's get this show on the road. Very quickly, I just wanted to bring something to you that I think that if we as vloggers don't speak up, this could spiral out of control. Let me begin, first of all, by saying Chilufya Tayali is an instigator of violence, innuendo, gossip, half-baked falsehoods. I'm not even going to say half-baked truth. Half-baked falsehoods. That is his MO. That is Chilufya Tayali's modus operandi. When he wakes up in the morning after he takes those jogs in his neighborhood, and he sits down at his coffee table and his wife attempts to serve him with some Ethiopian tea. The very first thing that comes out of Tayali's mouth is, who can I destroy today? Whose name can I disdain today? Whose reputation can I throw under the bus today? That is how he thinks. And he's done it again today. He's done it before. All of us remember. I'll never forget Vespas. Bless her heart. I'll never forget her. And the reason I talk about Vespas, folks, is I have four children. Two daughters, two sons. Four beautiful kids. I love them more than words could ever begin to prolifically express. My heart beats for my children. My wife's heart beats for our children. And when I saw what Tayali did in an attempt to desecrate the memory of Vespas, where he said, Vespas died because she was a member of the Reds. I'll never forget the day I called that man. I've told the story a thousand times, and I will tell it a thousand more times. Because when you see injustice, when you see someone create and fabricate lies for their own personal gain at the expense of people's reputations, we have to say something. It's the human thing to do. It's the most humane thing to do. I called him up and I said, Tayali, stop this nonsense. How 
how dare you insinuate that Vespas died because she was a member of the Reds? How dare you desecrate her memory? I'll never forget Tayali's response. He said to me, Mwewa, you don't know what I know. You don't have the information that I have. You are not privy to the things that I know. You know nothing, he said to me. And he hung up. And in that moment, I knew that this man was up to no good. I've never forgotten that. And I've always wondered, why did Vespas' parents let that guy off the hook? Why? Because I look at my own children and I think, if that guy ever did anything like that to my kids, I would never let him go. He has children. He has children. How would he feel if someone said that about his kids? Because this is the thing about this guy, and, and, and most of you miss it. He thinks the rules don't apply to him. He thinks he can disdain people, but he's immune to disdain. He thinks he can slander people, but he's immune to being slandered. He thinks that he can attack people arbitrarily at the drop of a hat with any weapon at his disposal. And yet somehow in his deranged, demented mind, he thinks the rules don't apply to him. Let's bring it down. Let's break it down, folks. Before you guys start getting all excited, I've put 5655 there. All of you know, you don't know. Some of you know. Because social media is like a, a wildfire. It's like a storm that brews and erupts. Because everybody, everybody's excited, making comments. Calm down, sit down before you hurt yourself. Here's the thing, guys. There's a story going around that Mubita Sinawa, in conjunction, and this is, this is the way Tayali has written it. If you go to Tayali's page, Tayali says, Mubita Nawa working together with Bamulenga. The gist of the story is this. And, and guys, here's the thing. Before you comment on someone uh, or, or on something or someone, understand what's going on first. Don't rush to comments. How can he fish at the way? Don't comment if you don't understand. When you get a clear picture of a story or an issue, then you can comment. Don't rush to comment. You don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Here's the deal. Movita Nawa. Okay, I'm not his spokesperson. The reason I'm talking about this is Mubita Nawa is a Zambian. It's got nothing to do with politics. I don't belong to the Reds. I'm nonpartisan. I, I'm pro-Zambian, nonpartisan. That's my position. Pro-Zambian. That's my position. But the reason I've jumped on here is to give you a clear picture. Mubita Nawa was at some event in 2020. Okay, November 2020, and he was going around talking to different people. And, and they were at a, at a Reds event. When, you, when I say Red, you know what I'm talking about. They were at a Reds event. Now, I know, let me stop there. There are many of you, and why can't you just say, listen, that's my way of saying it, okay? That's how I choose to communicate. It's my choice. Okay, when I say red, you know what I'm talking about. When I say green, you know what I'm talking about. When I say ego one, you know what I'm talking about. So here it is. Mubita Nawa was doing a live video as I do. Okay, I'm a vlogger. 
And nobody knows that, well, I, I shouldn't say nobody knows it better than me. What I should say is, I know just as well as anybody what it means to vlog on the street. So there's a point where Mubita Nawa stops and talks to different people. There's a young girl, you know, he's, he's doing a live video. He's holding up his phone like this. And then he, you know, the person, the person he, he's talking to steps in. And then Mubita Nawa says, go ahead and say something to the crowd, to the people that are watching. And, and this lady talks. She says her thing. There's another guy. He says her thing. Let's not forget these are, poli these are partisan politicians. Okay. And then at one point during the video, at exactly 5655, if you watch the entire video, don't watch the seven minute or seven second video. That's nonsense. Don't watch that. Go and watch the full video. Then you'll get a sense and appreciation of the bigger picture, the full picture. When you get to 5655, 56 meaning almost an hour into the video. If you get a no more. Now call war you. Folks. Mubita now says to this man. Lande nipo. Without warning. <laughs> without. Any type of. Indication. This man. Edo ababe mbanabo. Mubi me kunsele apena. Bamba no mboku tukana. Nawa has no control over what this man is saying. And you could clearly see that Nawa was trying to avoid this man after this man uttered these, 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 these obscenities. Very quickly, Nawa moved away from the man and said, yes, he did giggle. Let's be clear, he did giggle. Because that was his initial response. But that giggling was not a sign of approval. It was more, if anything, if you watch the full video, it was like Nawa was shocked that this man said this. Now, this is the telling part of the video. And this speaks to, 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 to Nawa's integrity. Let's just say it, okay? Let's just go ahead and just break it down. Nawa moves away from Vamulenga. Vamulenga Nawa Kolwa. Immediately, Nawa moves away. He keeps, he keeps wanting to talk on the video. Nawa says, no, uh, uh, Bamulenga. But Kulanda, That's the part Chilifia Tayali would never tell you. That's the part Chilifia Tayali will never tell you. Oh man, I tell you, that man is hell bent on killing. He's hell bent on ruining. He's hell bent on tarnishing anybody that stands in his way. It regardless of who that person is. Wake up. Let's not treat our fellow Zambians like dogs. This is politics. Now, here, here, here's the thing. Vamulenga needs to be arrested. There, I said it. He does. You can't insult the head of state. You can't do that. Not in that way. If you want to, to, to disagree with the head of state, do it. But do it in a manner that is befitting of a Zambian citizen. And this also speaks to the, to the nature, the insulting nature and culture that we are breeding amongst our young Zambians. Now I told this man, Landepo, instead Yakulanda if ya mano, instead Yakulanda if ya if ya if if ya mu chushia, abu tukira kunsele. That's telling you something. That's saying something. We have a generation of young people that don't know how to express themselves. They run to cussing. They run to profanity. They run to vulgarity because they don't know how to express themselves. Now, here's, here's the deviousness in this whole story. And you must know this. 
Chilufya Tayali, as he always does, anytime he smells blood, he comes for you like a predator, like a thief in the night. He seeks to devour you. Katayali, guys, I'm going to join you. I'm going to join Wangu, wangu. Yo, eh, eh, now uh, in, in conjunction with, together with, Vamulenga insulted the head of state. Rubbish, nonsense, hogwash, that is absolutely not true. Now, again, I have to say, because I know in this political climate, when you stand up for your, your friend, who Mubita Nawa happens to be a friend of mine, regardless of the fact that he's part of the Reds, that's his business. But the point is, he's my friend. Most importantly, he's a Zambian. Ha <laughs> ha! Stick that in your pipe and smoke it, honey. What are you going to do with that part of him? What, you going to, you, what, you want to kill him? What, you want to throw him under the bus? He's a Zambian, man. What are you going to do? You tell me, what are you going to do about that? And on top of that, let me tell you, I love this, man. Let me tell you why I love this. Because I know I'm vouching for someone whose spirit I know. You can't accuse Mubita Nawa of insulting the head of state. When have you ever heard Mubita Nawa insulting the head of state? Bamulenga bakakeni. Number one. Number two. There are no if ands buts about it. But don't be foolish and accuse a man like Nawa of insulting the head of state just because of your political expedience, for your political expedi expedience. Nonsense, man. Nobody, ain't nobody got time for that, man. Nobody's buying that. <laughs> nobody's buying that. You're selling a bill of goods that is no good. That, that, Line of thinking, that line of logic is illogical and it doesn't stick. It won't stick. You malicious people out there. You malicious people out there who decide to do everything within your power to hurt your fellow citizen, all in the name of politics. Oh, you, oh, you guys, y'all are messed up. I'll tell you now. If you're going to do politics, do politics. But don't do politics of vengefulness. Don't do malicious politics. Don't create lies. Just tell the truth. What Tayali should have said was, Bamulenga needs to be arrested. Had Tayali said that, I, even I would have supported him. I would have said to Tayali, yes. But because Tayali is so blinded, he's so devious, he's so desperate, he'll say anything. He will sell you up the river for 30 pieces of silver as long as he thinks it benefits him. He will accuse you of treason for his own political gain. He will accuse you of murder for his own political gain. There is nothing he will not do to go ahead. Nothing. He will stop at nothing. But here's the truth, guys. And let's relax. Take it easy. Everything's cool. Just watch the video and get to 56.55. Once you watch that, boom, end of story. You'll know what's going on. Listen, don't listen to Tayali. 
Tayali will lead you the wrong way. I've often said, and I'll say it again, and I'll never stop saying it until the whole country hears me. Tayali is the one man that can lead this country into a tribal war and chaos, and he will be smiling on the mountaintop if that happens. That's the type of man he is. Boom. There, I said it. I said it. So watch the video, guys. Watch the video. Give me a call. Tell me what you think. Simon Mukuka says, where's the video? It's on Mubita Nawa's page. Just scroll down two posts. You'll see it. It's there. The whole length of the video. But if you, if you don't want to watch the whole thing, just fast forward to 56, 55. 56 minutes, 55 seconds. It's there. Boom. It's there in full color. And then you've got some jamoke who goes to the police to report Mubita Nawa. I mean, you've reported the wrong person. The person you need to report is Vamulenga. Not Mubita Nawa. That young man's a child of God, boy. He's a heartfelt, Holy Ghost, heaven sent, devil chasing, sin killing, true blue, red hot Christian. He loves God. He loves God. He knows what respect is. You will never find a video of Mubita Nawa insulting the head of state. Kwisa. It'll never happen because that's not his nature. Now, Tayali, on the other hand, He's full of insults. Full. He's full up to the brim. Watch that guy. I'm telling you. Dangerous. He's dangerous. <laughs> All right. What are we doing? Um, oh, here it is. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have you guys call me. 0962-491-621. All right, here we go. That's my number there. Give me a call. Tell me what you think. Now, watch the video and then tell me what you think. Okay? Then give me a call here. And tell me what you think. So if you've watched the video, give me a call and give me your opinion. Let's, let's read a couple of comments. He's a sadist. I'm telling you, he is. He is. A snake with legs, Tayali is. He is. He is. Hello? Bluetooth. All right, here we go. Hello? Yes, Mr. Mayor. Good, good afternoon. A very good evening to you. Go yes. ahead, sir. How are you, sir? I'm fantastic. You know, you know we cannot... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm saddened by the behavior of Chukusha Tayad. That's his nature, brother. Tayad is, is blood thirsty. I agree. Tayad is blood thirsty. Tayali cannot even learn from what he has done to the family of Samantha and Joseph Kaunda. Or Vespas, or Vespas. Yeah, Tayali is a devil himself. Go ahead, brother. You know, just look at the, he cannot even learn from what he has done. The, Kaunda, the Samantha are mourning, Kaundas have lost their parents, now they've gone to Muvita Nawa. 
Yeah, that's his Now nature. Now I had got nothing to do with that video. Hmm. That man needs Jesus. He does. I, I, I suspect that the child is not, is, not, is not Zambian because the Zambian is so kind and so caring. Is not Zambian. No, he, he doesn't care. He doesn't. And, and, and you know, thank you, uh, thank you brother. Mm. I appreciate that. Mm. Yes. And I'll tell you something else, folks. A lot of it has to do with upbringing. If you watch, if you follow the way that guy was raised, he doesn't care about anybody. He doesn't. He, he will electrocute you with a smile. He will drive a dagger through your heart. As he laughs, the personification of evil. I've been saying that for a long time. Hello? All right, here we go. Uh, somebody says here, it's not all about being read or what, but that's an individual reasoning and action. This time around, if you try to randomly ask people on live video how they feel about the economy, you expect such, and especially someone in Mulenga State, Vachao Kolwa. Yeah. When people are drunk, they say all kinds of craziness. How do you blame that on Mubita now? How do you say now I was... Listen, I do live videos all the time. I did, do, I did two today. When you approach people, you've got no control over what they say. The only thing you have control over is whether or not you give them a platform. And Mubita Nawa clearly showed and demonstrated that he was trying to get away from Vamlenga. Because Nawa could see that Vamlenga number one, Naba Kolwa, number two, Valetu Kabaka, Teka, Ichochena is not right, is wrong. All right, somebody says, where can I find the video on Kamwara? You go to Mubita Nawa's page. He's put the full video there. But fast forward to 56 minutes and 55 seconds. Then you will see the context. Start from there, and you'll watch the whole context of the video. Don't read what's on social media before watching the video. Because you, especially if you read Tayali's page. <laughs> So already you've got a preconceived notion of the of the event even before you watch the video. And I guarantee you guys, I guarantee it, there are many of you when when you read Tayali's account of the event, and then when you actually watch the video, the video, you'd be shocked. You'd be like, what? What was this about? But that's the nature of Tayali. He, he desires to sift you as wheat. Tayali is the accuser of the brethren. He's the thorn in our flesh. He's an, he's an enemy of peace. That's what he is. And I'll say it. I'll tell you right now. And, and, and here it is. Let me, let me tell you something. Else. It's, uh, Luke, Luke Mani says, Tayali and Muevantu Media have enough time on their hands. What a shame. This case is already closed. Muevantu. I know the Muebantu guys. They're my friends. Guys, be responsible. What you should have done was you should have, in, for the sake of peace, guys, right is right and wrong is wrong. This has got nothing to do with politics or your allegiance, your political allegiance. We are Zambians. Let's be fair. Fair play. Muebantu that was irresponsible of you to just put Mobita Nawa's name there. You've got such a huge platform. You should have just told the truth. Just investigate. Tell the truth. But instead, you just put his name up there, and then you, 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 make, you send people in a frenzy. And, and then you will, the same people who were saying that, 
The first person they go to is Chilufia Tayali. They get the wrong idea from Chilufia Tayali. Oh, can't you have you fall into the hands of Chilufia Tayali. You fall into the trap of that deviant. A man who is a sexual predator. That's the man you're going to think of? That's the man you're going to follow? A man who is a deviant. That's who you're going to follow? Come on, guys, be serious. The guy talks about how he's above this, that, and the other. He is the personification of rot and filth. Watch him. Dangerous. Dangerous! All right. <laughs> Floyd, this is Floyd. Floyd says, okay, if you say so. Don't take my word for it, Floyd. Watch the video, for goodness sake. And then make your own conclusion. Call me on this number. Tell me what you think. Hello? Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, given. Yeah. Are you you're coming? Uh, yeah. You, you, do you have the money? Uh, yeah. Do you have the money? I have. Okay, bring it. Sorry. I'm using my line, so. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Somebody says, Mr. Moy, I'll just use simple English, not deviant. Well, he is a deviant. Josephine, well, Joseph, well, thank you for saying that, but Josephine, in the name of fair play, let's just, let's just be honest. Let's just tell what happened. Let's not fiddle around with the facts. Don't change the, the goalposts to suit your own end. Tell the truth. Had this Tayali posted... That Bamulenga Naba to Kabaka Te Koku. Arrest him. I would have supported him. But oh no. Tayali thinks politics 24 hours a day and, and not real politics. He thinks of politics that benefits his pocket only. That's not politics. Fiabufi. Yeah, good evening, Simon. A very good evening to you, sir. Yeah, this is Kangung from Karumbida, Northwestern. Mkwai. Yeah, uh, I think uh, today you have spoken well. I salute you for that. Well, thank you, sir. Chirufatayadi is likely to cause a serious war in this country. If our president does not sit him down to nurture him as a Zambian citizen, he needs to be a Zambian, not a politician as he claims to be, who just benefits from the real politicians. Chirufatayadi is likely to cause a serious war if left unchecked. I, I thank you. Thank you, sir. I've been okay. saying that for a long time. Thank you so much, sir. Now, here's the thing, guys. Uh, there is no way, of course, I'm not speaking for Eagle One. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not privy to Eagle One's schedule. But I, I can confidently say Eagle One can never meet Chirufatayadi. <laughs> That is not possible. Ego One will distance himself from that despot in any way possible. Tayali would love nothing more than to get close to Ego One, but Ego One sees him for who he is, an evil man. Hello? Hello. Yes, how are you, Mr. Moore? I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm okay. Uh, I just want to ask you something. Yes, sir. Please ask. Yes. Who has bewitched uh, Tayali? Well, I'll be honest with you. It yes. has a lot to do with his upbringing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, sir. Thank yeah. You. I don't think he's bewitched. I think... <laughs> yes. you, you, brother, can I tell you what it is? Yes. He has no moral compass. Okay. I get you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That, and thank that's, you. that's the issue right there. 
Tayali has no moral compass. A person that has a moral compass looks at the terrain and says, you know what? I don't think that's a good thing. He doesn't have that. It's it's just do by any means necessary, destroy, kill, maim, annihilate evil. Hello. Oh, good evening, Mr. Moya. A very good evening to you, sir. Yes, uh, this is uh, Comrade Mori recording from Azabuka. M. Kwaye. You see, Mr. Moya, I think in this country, if you are not careful with the way uh, Tari is handling issues, we are going to find ourselves in a situation where it would be very uncontrollable. I'm telling you. <laughs> this man, he's very uncontrollable, and I don't think so if there are people who can advise him. You, you, you can imagine the whole lot of uh, the death he has caused from the time we started this politics of hatred. I think uh, as Zambians, we should wake up. We should not allow ourselves to be driven by a person who is, I mean, Muntuli quite now, quite I'm an evil spirit. Mm, mm. Because this is where we are heading now. Yes. This is the same thing that happened to Sam Saman, the other guy. Yes. When he was Samoan, when he, HH was Samoan there, what, what happened? Two people died. Mm. And we are still heading back to the same situation. Mm. Now, are we going are, are we going to allow ourselves to fall into that beat? I think we should not entertain this man anymore. Mm. You see, may I can tell you to say from that time those two people died. I I I uh uh na page I question po chili chonso. So even if what you were telling what you are saying today, I I I don't even want to see it because that man I get frustrated whenever I'm reading his you know, his writing, mm. his articles. Mm. Because most of the things that is there is just hatred. Mm. No, you know, what it has from what I have a we should not allow to be uh, some people to be behaving like that. Mm. And I'm also urging the policemen not to entertain this man. Yes, the policemen should take keen interest in this man to say, Okay, oh, well, thank yes. you very much, Mr. Mwea. Thank you, sir. Bless you. Bless you. Okay, thank you. Bless you. And, and, and guys, I've been saying it for, for more than two years. Because I, I've, I know Tayali's nature. I see it. I see it as plain as day. As sure as I'm sitting here. If this nation erupts in a tribal conflict, he will joyfully dance on the tallest mountaintop. Like a leprechaun. He doesn't love this nation. He doesn't love this country. He loves himself. And, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you something, which there's nothing wrong with loving yourself, but don't love yourself at the expense of your neighbor. Love your neighbor as yourself. Do politics, do them, but do them fairly. Don't create, don't create falsehoods for the sake of creating confusion and horror. Don't do that. Mubita Nawa is a Zambian. Forget his political affiliation. He's, he's a Zambian. Yes, he belongs to the Reds. So what? That's his choice. That's his choice. Nivakevo. But first and foremost, he is a Zambian. And I... I'll be honest with you, I happened, I've, I've known Mubita Nawa for many years. Many years. You can't wake up and tell me today that, that Mubita Nawa insults the head of state. Hogwash. Nonsense. Foolishness. That's a lie. And you know it. You know it. So don't tell lies. Just tell the truth. Just be real. Y'all should say something. It's real. It's real. And I keep warning you, this guy is up to no good. I mean, you, you and guys, this is just like the caller said. 
It breaks my heart. It infuriates me when I see him celebrating his children's birthdays. I don't like that. Because in Sama's children don't have a father. Because of emotion, a set of events that that man set in motion. Vespus died in very unfortunate event, uh, circumstances. What did Tayali do? He added a political twist and said she died because she belonged to the Reds. In other words, the insinuation was she deserved to die. That is the undertone of Tayali. It doesn't take a genius to know that. It doesn't take a genius to figure that out. That's the way it is. All right. Somebody says, I saw you today. Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Uh, is this the uh, SNL? Yes, sir, it is. Sure. Who am I speaking with? Uh, Floyd. Hi, Floyd. Please go ahead. Hello? Please go ahead, Floyd. I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, yeah. I'm following your program on Facebook. Yes, sir. Yeah. And, okay, yeah. For the first time, I had to go and check Chilusia Tayali's page because, you know, I don't follow the guy. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at uh, the comments and his posts. The man seems like a, like a child. And you know how kids are, you know, children mm -hmm. just say anything that they want. So I think it's, there could be, maybe if Ego One could do something about him, maybe put him behind bars, <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah. Because yeah, cause people with, you know, with a toxic mouth, like you said, can one day incite or make people like go to war and all that. So I think we should just make an appeal to the president, get this guy arrested. Because I think the, the nation has had enough of everything that he's been saying. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I agree with that, Floyd. Floyd, thank you so much. Yeah. I yeah. Pre appreciate yeah. that, brother. Yeah, I, pre I appreciate uh, it's, uh, it's a good program. I've been following since, since it started. Okay. Yeah. And, yeah. And, like, what he said about Vespers, like, it's not like the police were following people belonging to a political party, but when Vespers died, that was a very sad moment, not only to the family that lost their daughter, but also to the nation, because her death was very sad. And somebody comes up and makes all those silly comments. I think he shouldn't be working freely. He, he shouldn't even you know? be allowed on social media. He shouldn't be allowed on yeah, social media. Yeah, it should be blocked. Yeah, absolutely. It should, be, it, should, it should be blocked. And just to add to that, Floyd, and you're right, when Vespus died, the whole nation was, was in mourning. Yeah. The yeah, whole country yeah. was sad. Tayali was Very the true. only voice that stood up and said the most insensitive thing. And, and, and let me tell yeah. you, I'll be honest with you, and I know B-Flo, he wouldn't mind me saying this, B. Flo was one of the artists that went to comfort Vespas's family. Uh -huh, yeah. I asked B. B. Flo one time, I said, B, why didn't Vespas's family take Tayali to task? You know what he said uh -huh. to me? He uh -huh. said the family didn't want it to be turned into a political thing. Okay. They didn't want it to be, to, because Tayali would have turned it into a political whirlwind. And the family yeah, didn't true, want to true. do that. Yeah, true. Yeah, and, and they let it go. You know, they let it go. And and and, and he, he never stopped there. And he will never stop. It was yeah. Taya, it was it was uh, Vespus. From Vespus he moved to Nsama. From Sama is he's now with Mubita Nawa. From Nawa it'll be somewhere else. From somewhere else it'll be a tribal war in this country. Yeah, I could be next if we don't stop this guy. <laughs> this guy has to be stopped somehow. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. No, thanks, so, Floyd. Keep, 
yeah, keep on educating us and, you know, just opening our minds and all that. We, we appreciate it. Thank you, Floyd. All right. Thank you. God bless. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. I got to rock and roll. I've got to go. So watch the video. When you get to, when you get to the video, 56 minutes and 55 seconds, you'll get the context. If anybody should be arrested, it's Vamulenga. Whatever I call it, way. That is unacceptable. Unacceptable. We are Zambians first. Don't insult the president. Make your case clear. Put your points across. Argue on the points. But don't resort to insults, profanity. And yet, Tayali is the king of profanity. He's such a hypocrite. Can't Hello. stand that despot. Hello. 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 Am I talking to Mr. Mewa? Yes, you are. Okay, this is Joe. Hey, Joe. Go ahead, Joe. Um, I just want to give an advice on Mr. Tayali. Yes, sir. Go ahead. You know, uh, the old people used to say, if you kill a man using a knife, you shall die using a knife. If you kill a man using a gun, you shall die using a gun. And two, uh, the Bible says, uh, God uses people to bless people. And God uses, and the devil uses people. But Mr. Tayali should not be allowed, should not allow the devil to use him to destroy people. You know, that's the sad thing whereby uh, the, nation, the whole nation is mourning, for example, the Vespas issue, the whole nation is mourning, then him, he goes against the nation. That was against the nation. Mm. He might not feel the impact now. He might not feel the impact now, but what he should what he should know is that he has children. He has a child, and I'm sure he's having more. He will, he will, he will still have more. He's, ha he's having a child. The impact will be felt by the child. You know, we should learn to live a record whereby our future children should not should not uh, should not suffer. So the 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 the. the, the the weight or the, the burden will be taught by the children. That's how I show you. Because wherever the child will go and people say, ah, this child is an American child. So they like, ah, the former child is looking at those things. Mm -hmm. But if you really love the children, the, the child, you should, uh, you should be a nobleman. Yeah, I agree. That's what I show you. Because uh, the child is the one who's going to feel the burden. Because I'll give you an example. We have great people. We have great people in Zambia. Mm. Their children are also mm. kind of great because the record and parents left. That's how it is. Mm. Thank, you thank you so much. Thank, thank you, brother. That's all I wanted to add. Thank you so yeah. much, brother. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Okay, listen to this comment. Edward says, the guy was insulting the president. Mubita Nawa was cheering that guy. Why are you not condemning that? Why are we discussing Tayali? Put me in the light. Because you've probably watched the seven second video. Watch the whole video. Watch the whole video. Then you'll understand. But you, you're, you're, but you, your information, as long as you get your information from Tayali first, you'll have an, a very obscure view of the facts on the ground. Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good morning. I mean, good evening. Good evening, sir. Please go ahead. Are you speaking to no one you're in the within the sir? you're in the. Yes, sir. How are you, sir? I'm okay, thank you. How are you, sir? Very well. Please go ahead. Yeah, I'm sure I'm, I'm, I'm baffled with uh, what is happening now in Zambia. So I wanted also to add a voice as a young person to what is happening here in Zambia. Mm. 
Um, if I were to point at Mr. Tayali, for me personally, as a young person, I used to get sick when I, that time when I, li- I liked his page, I would get sick in whatever I post. And so all what I did for me to be relieved from that sickness that I, was, I used to get from him was to unlike his page. Yeah. And so most of the time when he posts everything, then you come and tell us, Tayali is saying this, then we go and watch what he's saying. We also get back to the sickness that we have. And so I've come to analyze to say, Mr. Tally, I'm sure he doesn't care about Zambia. That's one thing. And if I were to put it in this way to say, uh, like the devil would use a small hole and that small hole would develop into a big hole. In other ways, Mr. Tally is acting as a cancer and cancer doesn't start as a big, uh, like it doesn't start from, like from mm. the whole body. Mm. It starts from a small part. And from there, it generates your whole part of the body. It spreads. And this is what Mr. Tyler is going to do to yes. this country. Yes. He's creating a small thing mm. which will result to every citizen is going to be affected. Absolutely. Which is going to be out of our hands at that time. Mm. And so the other thing, again, the people that will make us, because we have no voice that we can speak. You just read something, then it gets into your head, then you get sick. Then you're like, but why are we having this kind of politics? Why mm. can't we do politics which are clean, mm. politics that can allow us as young people mm. also to participate. Mm. But the policy that we see now mm. is the politic of accusation that we can't even utter a word as the young people, we can't say anything because you're scared like if I say something, then I'll also be persecuted. Mm. Look at even Madame Nawak again, what is it? Mm. She's not encouraging us to come to the podium of politics. She's mm. making us drop back. Mm. She's making us to be afraid of what is happening. Mm-hmm. So these people are making us sick. Whatever they write, whatever they say, you look at it, you get the stuff from the other side, then you go, like, what is happening? Mm-hmm. So Mr. Tell is, I'm sure, is the cancer to this nation, is developing it slowly, but by the time we're never going to realize, it's going to be big. I don't know who can stop this. I don't know who can put the, the end to this situation that we're having. Because looking at the clip that you said, we should watch that clip, uh, 56 to 50 something. I never heard that man, Mr. Now, a Southern. Mm. But all I saw was he used, he, he just encouraged people to say, come and say hi to people. Mm. But him, that person was, he wasn't even in a normal state. And he made him to say, can you apologize? Yes. Which was a good thing. Yes. But now for someone to come and say, he insulted. I never saw, I never heard insulting. Mm. He instructed that person to say, can you apologize? Because we don't allow, we don't mm. condone insults. Yes. He was doing a right thing. Yes. But when you look at Mr. Tayal, even this person who went to the to, court, to the police, I'm like, did they, did they watch that clip? They that didn't. This person made this person to apologize. Mm. He forced that guy who uttered those words to say, mm. can you apologize? Yes. You don't condone this. Yes. Because that's the clip I'm getting. I, I don't need to be a lawyer for me to understand that. Mm. But from what I saw, I can able to judge from what I saw. Yes. So I don't know what we're leading. I don't know. I don't know. Brother, thank you so much. Thank you for that call, and thank you for that very insightful comment. Thank you so much. God bless you, brother. Thank you. See there, that again, you know, the whole propaganda. Yes, we all want to win, but let's not win at any cost. Let's not win at the expense of integrity, truth, justice, equality. Let's not... Tayali is the type of person that would joyfully celebrate to see someone go to prison. This is the reason. Let me tell you something. Some of you don't know this. There was a time uh, I was covering an event at Mulungushi Conference Center. And it was a PF event. The Greens, they had an event there and you know, I was invited as a member of the media to go there by my good friend, Antonio Mwanza. Let me first tell this story. I've got to tell this story. And let me, let me just switch this off so that I tell you the story. This is very important. And I, I was there, you know, I mix with everybody and I'm talking to people. The, the video is on my page. If you scroll down, it's there. I talk to so many different people. And there was a point I got to the mayor, his worship, the mayor, Miles Sampa, who who happens to be a very dear friend of mine, my wife and I, we love his family, they love us, we hang out, we're friends, I mean, real friends. 
And Miles Sampa is, he's a bridge builder. He loves to bring people together. That's, that's just his nature. Okay. So as a joke, right? I'm talking to Miles and Miles brings Tayali and says, are you going to say hi to this guy? I looked at Miles and I said, I don't do that. I'm in court with this guy. Him and I have a court case. What, you want me to stand here and pretend we're friends? And then when we go to court, we're at each other's necks? That doesn't compute. Let the process run its course. After the court case, we'll see what happens then. But I'm not going to stand here and pretend that someone's my friend when they're not my friend. Now, here's this, this is what Tayali did. He goes and he sits next to Chishimba Kambuidi. You didn't see this in the video. No, nobody saw this video. He goes, Tayali sits next to, first of all, he turns to me and you can hear Tayali in the background because I'm, I'm, I'm leading the mayor away from Tayali. I, I'm, I'm saying to the mayor, no, I, I've got no time to talk to that guy. I've got a court case with him. And then I pull the mayor away from Tayali and then Tayali he, he insults me. You know, he just says something like, well, you're cheap boy, you're talking about me. I didn't respond. I just walked away. Then I looked in the corner of my eye. Tayali was sitting next to Chishimba Kambuidi, trying to pander to him. Now, Tayali is the one that set into motion the problems that Chishimba Kambuidi has now is because of Tayali. And there was Tayali pandering to Chishimba Chish, Chish, Kambuili. Now, Bakambuili is a politician. He has to act a certain way. He can't reveal his true feelings against this boy because he will be accused of being hard-hearted. That's the difference between me and politicians. I don't pretend. I'm not going to pretend that I'm friends with Tayali at the convention center, and then when we go to court, we pull out our daggers. What's that? When Chishimba, when Tayali sat next to Bachishimba Kambuili, I could see it in the corner of my eye. I could see Bachishimba Kambuili in his eyes. I could see it. Bakambuili was thinking, what is this gnat doing sitting next to me? I don't want to talk to this guy. Why would I sit here and talk to him? But Bachishimba Kambuili didn't say that. He kept it to himself. But there was Tayali. Ah, Shani Mamdala. Shani. The next day, Tayali is on his page talking nonsense about Wachishimba Kambui. That's how devious the guy is. Be real. Just be real. Don't, don't fake it. Don't fabricate it. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. The difference, there's one time I gave Iris... Iris Kaingo. I, I, and I made it public. I didn't think, I told, I, I said on this page, I said that I think that Iris needs to be careful with what she, how she conducts herself. I was telling the truth. When I met Iris at the, at the convention center, at Mulungushi, uh, uh, the, the Mulungushi Conference Center, I spoke to her and I asked her questions that related to her campaign. I wasn't being fake. I was asking her questions. And being the cordial lady that she is, because let's face it, and I said this before, I felt that Iris was very cordial, very engaging, you know, very engaging. And when I asked her questions, she answered. She didn't give me the cold shoulder. She just answered the question. But it would have been wrong for me to walk up to Alice and put my, uh, not Alice, uh, Iris put my arm around her, and, and, and talk about everything except what I had posted. My goal and my objective was to simply ask her questions about the campaign. When she told me I didn't pander to her, she answered the questions, I walked away. Tayali sits ala tola bantua mano. That's the reason... When, 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 when he ran into the leader of the Reds, the leader of the Reds was shocked and surprised. Well, you want to talk to me today? The leader of the Reds said to Tayali, say to me 
what you always say on your post. What did that coward say? He said, no, I admire you. I admire you. Evil. And yet the whole time, he has a dagger in his hand. Come on, man. We see you for who you are. See you. All right. One more phone call. Hello, come in. Oh, ah, look at him push a fist. Just give me 10 minutes. Uh, Uriya, stay, no quarry up. I'll pay reception. Whatever. Uriya, what a mood. Okay, just wait. Just wait. Call me if you can. Oh, right. Oh, I, I, I turned my phone off, for goodness sake. All right, I need to turn it back on. All right, let me read a couple more comments and then and then we're done. Hello? Okay, I'm going to I'm going to have you guys do two more phone calls and then we're done. Hi there. Just a second here, let me let me bluetooth this thing. Oh man. Here it is. Here it is. I got it. Let me bluetooth it. Roadcaster Pro is connecting. Boom, it's connected. Hello? Hello. Can you hear me? Hello? <laughs> Watch this here. I don't comment on your page, sir. I have laughed today. I to know I admire you. That's what he said. He's such a pretender. He's, I mean, he's such a... <sighs> Hello? Hello? Hello. Good evening, sir. A very good evening. Who am I speaking with? Uh, you are speaking to Stanley Mwanza. By Stanley? Yes. M. Kwaye, please go ahead and make your question, uh, your contribution, or give us your question. Yes, yes, sir. Um, wow. Uh, what? It's, it's very, very. Well, standing. Yeah, it's, it's very, it's very unfortunate uh, with what is happening. Mm. Uh, we are seeing that uh, this man is really up uh, to no good. Mm. Yeah, we because of of course the way he comes out on uh, certain issues that are very sensitive to this nation. Yes. You find that is so so very worrying. Mm. Such that um, uh, by the time we are going to realize, there will be real chaos in this nation. Yes, just over this particular man. I've been saying so it for more we, than two years. I've been saying it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, and uh, we think uh, we don't know what we can really do about it because what is there is, uh, of course, uh, something that is very very sensitive. The way he handles things on his page, mm. you find that um, instead of uh, maybe trying to bring about, we don't know what uh, the hatred that he has on the guys from the raid. Mm. Just anything to do with the guys from the raid, uh, it comes up so quickly. So you, you know, sometimes when he's handling issues from uh, the ring party, we see that uh, is there just to advise. But anyone who makes a mistake or whatever he might claim a mistake from the red is quick to react and he wants all all those guys to be put to behind bars. Mm. That is the, a very worrying kind of running of the page because mm. uh, he's fearing hatred. Uh, and, uh, and at the end of the day, by the time we realize, we, we might find that we are fighting each other over things that 
might have been controlled by the elders of this nation. And he would love so, nothing more than that. He would love nothing more than that. Yeah, so what he's worrying is actually whatever it, whatever is to do with money for him is just okay. Yeah. And yeah, and, so and, the, and the truth it, is... If he puts so, put mm -hmm. money in his pocket, if it's something to put money in his pocket, in his pocket then that's fine. It doesn't matter what what uh, what to come out first, uh, later on. So long for him, it be, it benefits him. Then he will say it whether it whether it is not a good thing, whether it's a bad thing. So long for him, he wants to defend um, his pocket. That's it. Yeah, that's so it. Pocket, it's really sad, it's the way. And, yeah, and, and let me sad. let me add something to that. Chilufia Tayali is in no moral position to talk about insults. He is the king of insults. The same guy, exactly. is he's standing on a, a mountain saying, no, you can't insult. And yet he is the personification of insult. Uh, to tramona, tramona. And yet he's the one who's standing saying, no, you can't insult. He has a no moral position to demand that that someone not insult someone else. He is the personification sir, of insele. Sir, can I ask something, sir? Please, please ask. Uh, but uh, why is why is Daddy not touched? Because of the way he was raised. He, he, Tayali has no moral compass. You know, when, when you have empathy, umuntu akwata empathy, teti alanda at Vespas afwile, pantu, she belonged to the Reds. Umuntu akwata empathy, teti achite, he can't do what he did and set in motion a series of events that led to the death of Insama. A person that has empathy cannot falsely accuse someone else of doing something that they did not do. Everything he does, Tayali, does for the sake of self-aggrandizement and filling his pocket. What if it was him? What if someone stood up and said what he said about Vespas? How would he feel? Why is it that he feels the rules don't apply to him, but they apply to everyone else? Why? Yeah. Uh, no time to catch up with him. Thank you for your contribution, sir. Thank you so much. God bless you. It chaps my hide. Because I've been saying it for years. And I've been see, I see it, and it'll do nothing but get worse. It will do nothing but get worse. Today it's this, tomorrow it's something else, and it'll just grow bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until the whole thing will be out of control. Watch him. He's bad seed. He's bad seed. All right, guys, I got to go. It's 1830. Thank you so much for listening. Please watch the video. And again, I got to emphasize, because, you know, we'll have some, some crazy people on here saying, no, well, how can you support? The I'm supporting my brother because he, number one, I know him. He's my personal friend. Okay. And, and guys, here, newsflash. It's possible to have friends from different political parties. Ooh! Put that, stick that in your pipe and smoke it. Let me say that again. It's possible to have friends from different political parties. Here, where I sit, I have friends from the Reds. I have friends from the Greens. I have friends from MMD. I have friends from, from FDD. I have friends from everywhere. Why? Because they're Zambian. They're Zambians.
Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. I'm quite. How is it? How are you? I'm fabulous. Well, okay. Well, I say I'm fabulous, but the truth is I'm I'm as mad as all get out. I'm I'm upset. Yeah, same as same as me. I've been upset all this while. Just from the very inception, I knew this. I had him. Yeah, I even stopped following his page. Yes. Somebody who's just an is an is an indictment to our society. Somebody who's who's not supposed to be even given attention. He shouldn't be on social yeah. media. Yeah, just just from the very very inception, the the moment he started promulgating whatever he what whatever he utters, whatever he just promulgates, I don't even I don't even waste time. I don't even give it credence to to whatever he says. Mm. Because just imagine uh, the moment he, he started pointing out that the, the, what dates to the to the death of Vespers because of. Um, her association with the Reds, whatever that 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 wasn't even supposed to be uh, among us the topics. It's, it's, it's not even normal. It was irrelevant. How can a normal parent, how, how can a normal parent uh, attest attest and put a blame on a certain political political party or whatever to something which was. Which was even attracting interest for every citizen who's concerned, for every parent who's concerned, because that child who was lost. It, it it was it it was just lost. More of it, it wasn't in vain, you know. Mm. And, and, she was the only child of that family, my understanding. You and, know, and the parents was were, were very dependent upon the success of that child. Mm. And was it was more like carrying the emblem of the family. Mm. And, and then and Tayali that, comes out and says that nonsense. No, no, that that, that person I, I believe is not a parent. You know, many males are born, but few are men. And he is not a man the men, I can say that. I agree with you. Because, you know, some people they are some people they, they just grow up. Uh, physically with their bodies, but their minds are a child. Mm. They are newborn babies. They are they are craving for pure milk. You know, mm. Mm. it's supposed to be feeding on milk, not mm. in Shima. It's not yet grown up. Mm. Mm. I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't want to say a lot, but uh, that, that person, I don't really love him, and he's a danger. He's a danger yeah, to our peace. Whatever he utters is so abhorrent mm. to. Uh, to, to the upcoming generation is not even supposed to be given um, the attention and the, the reception mm. by any individual, by any meaningful Zambian. Mm. And we are supposed to forge forward as a people. One Zambia, one nation. Thank you. Thank you, brother. God bless you. God bless you too. Guys, let me also tell you, I must tell you, because I know Tayali's thinking, a normal human being would watch this and think to himself, hmm, I think let me reassess myself. Ha! <laughs> Not Tayali. Tayali right now, if he's watching this, he is dancing. That's how he thinks. None of what you're saying is affecting him. Umuntua kwa the five senses kuti aba affected. Yo kwe na ineva njeba. Limbi na alufia nya. Limbi fidia na achilanda kwe na kwe na achiluba. Not Tayali. Right now, Tayali is dancing. Valenda nda po, valenda nda po. They've fallen into my trap. I've become more relevant. He loves it. I know him. I know how he thinks. That's how he thinks. All right, guys. Um, God bless. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for watching. Do the right thing. Zambia. And, 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 and if there's one lesson I can give to you, and I want you to hear me. All of you that are within the sound of my voice, listen to this. I am pro-Zambian, but here's my message. It's possible to be friends with people from different political parties. 
Ooh, oh, I love that. It's possible to have friends from the green camp. Oh, it's possible to have friends from the red camp. Oh, it's possible to have friends from the blue camp. Why? Because we are Zambians. See that flag over there? I love you. Mwah. God bless, guys. Have a great evening.